Just saw a horrific video of the IOF rolling up a tank and overtaking the border crossing in Rafah, essentially sealing in Rafah and Gaza. It doesn't look like there's any exit point right now. Obviously, things are changing in every single moment due to the fact that this is a fucking genocide. But I want to say a couple of things. First, it's extremely important to continue to donate. Even if funds can't be used to evacuate, people are going to be needing funds to rebuild. And especially when entire homes and infrastructure and just everything is completely dismantled and destroyed, there's going to be a massive need for rebuilding. And these funds should be continually directed to people in need in Gaza. And these funds are going to be either used to evacuate or to rebuild or whatever people on the ground experiencing a genocide decide. So please continue to fundraise and continue to donate and, and share the links and just continue to assist in every way possible. That's one. Two, this is not just for Palestine. This is for people in need everywhere. So we can get in the habit of directing funds to people in need in Sudan, in Congo, in Haiti, people in Turtle Island, people who just need funds and there don't have to be qualifications on the funds. It's like people are suffering, they're in need, we direct funds their way and we care for each other because the violent systems and structures around us obviously don't do that. And the third thing is that the only way to end this, not just in Palestine, but to end global racialized capitalism and resource and settler colonialism, because this is coming for all of us, is resistance. And that means escalating and that means forming autonomous direct action you, we don't just need you, like we're, we're all capable and it's very scary and that's real and there are consequences and there are also consequences not to act and everyone knows what needs to be done and there needs to be you know parades are not it so <laughs> we can do this and it's it's time to step up and, you know, the during 2020, the head of the LAPD pretty much said that we can squash one 10,000 person protest, but we can't stop, you know, 10, 1,000 people protests and actually direct actions. So we can have decentralized action. You don't need to be in an organization just because someone is wearing a yellow vest. That doesn't mean that they have authority over you. If you feel like action needs to be taken then take action and don't let anybody tell you that that necessary action is too much or, you know, escalating things beyond the pale because genocide, resource and settler colonialism, those are escalations beyond the pale and they need to be stopped everywhere.